We need a cop to identify that girl in the sketch. Not yet, Mr. Green. Please, Ethan. Save the mister for my father. Right. I'll keep working on it. Is your aunt ready to be released yet? Yeah, she should be brought out soon. Look, Frank, I want you to show that sketch to everyone in Harmony. The girl's a local, I'm sure. She's bound to be recognized by somebody. You want this girl pretty bad, huh? After what she's done to me? You bet I do. Sorry, I didn't see you. No. It's fogs like pea soup. It's my fault. Oh my god. It's you. You're the girl I've been looking for. <sighs> she went too far when she broke onto my family's estate. I want her put away. I don't want her anywhere near my family ever again. You're playing a very dangerous game, Teresa. You should have never come to the Crane house today. Don't worry, Mama. Look at this. Do I look anything like myself? Even you didn't recognize me. Well, your disguise is good. But if Ethan does recognize you, he'll call the police. And what if Luis shows up? Teresa, think of the anger and shame he'll feel if he has to arrest his own sister. I know, Mama. That's the last thing I want to happen. But. Working for Mrs. Crane, it's like a dream come true. I have to take that chance. You want the job that badly? This job was made for me. Trust me, if you didn't recognize me, Ethan won't either. Hello, Pilar. Hi. Teresa, I'd like you to read this letter over. Make any changes you think are necessary and type it up. Yes, Mrs. Crane. How are things working out, Mrs. Crane? Oh, with Teresa, I mean. She's wonderful, Pilar. I have every confidence in Teresa, but of course I knew she'd be perfect. She's your daughter. You see, Mama? Mrs. Crane thinks I'm great. There's nothing to worry about. I worry. I worry about Luis finding out. He can't. He'd go ballistic if he found out I was working here at the Crane Mansion. You want to know what this man means to me? That's what he means to me. Who's the poor guy? Just another notch in the very expensive Sheridan Crane's belt. Oh, I don't really care what you think, Officer Lopez Fitzgerald. Whatever. The paperwork should be ready soon, so you can split. Anything else I can get for you in the meantime? Yes. You can stay out of my life! <sighs> it's no use, Tell. That stupid board isn't moving. The tarot card said Charity is coming to town. Just be patient, Timmy. The board will tell us where to find her. That girl is such a pretty young thing. Timmy can't believe she could hurt Timmy and Tabitha. Really? Don't you remember what happened at the carnival? Did she really do that? Don't you listen to anything I say, batting for brains. I told you, Charity has powers that could destroy us both. That's why we have to find her and put her and her powers out of commission, permanently. Are you sure this is the right way to find that girl? It's a good place to start, Reese. I have to find Charity. I've never seen you get so serious about a girl before. She must really be special. She is. I know it's crazy. We just met. I hardly know her. But I can't stop thinking about her. Hmm. Miguel won the Harmony Hunt contest. Maybe there's an article in here with this last name in it. Uh, excuse me. I'm looking for someone. I'm busy, kid. Let's keep looking around, Reese. Nothing. 
I don't even know where to start looking for Miguel. Ugh, look at the time. I've got to call Mom and see if she's home yet. What are we going to do? Well, I still think Miguel's on a wild goose chase, but I can't take any chances. We have to hang around and make sure Miguel doesn't find charity. And just how are we going to do that, Kay? I'll think of something. Miguel's going to be mine. I'm not going to let some girly hardly knows take him away from me. Mom, it's Charity. It's her. I can't believe she's actually here. What are we going to do now? We have to make sure Miguel doesn't see her. Okay, good. Miguel's not around. The only person who can screw this up is my meddling sister, and Jessica's not here. I've got a plan. Got to get to the bus station on time. I'm not gonna let my big sister Kay screw up Miguel's chance to be with the girl he really likes. Charity. I would hold the hand of the one who can leave me places and kiss the lips of the one who can sing so sweet. Oh, I'm going upstairs for a snooze, Jimmy. You keep your eye on the board and call me if it moves even a little bit. Why does Jimmy have to watch it? Because I'm the boss, dollface. Now, don't take your eyes off it for a minute. The board will warn us when Charity's nearby. One day Jimmy will be the boss. Not nasty or Tabitha. Yeah, Timmy's the boss. Boss man, Timmy's the boss. Boss man, Timmy's the boss. Boss man, Timmy's the boss. Boss man. Yeah, he's man, he's boss man. When she gets off the phone, she'll have to bump into us. Then what? Watch me work. Uh, Mom, I hope you're not out looking for me right now. Um, I was just calling to tell you that I'm fine and I'll probably be home before you even get this message, so just don't worry about me, okay? Okay, bye. Uh, oh, oh, sorry. Uh, no, my fault. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Do either of you live in Harmony? We both do. All our lives. Oh, great. Well, maybe you know the boy I'm looking for. I just met him, and I don't even know his last name or where he lives, but it's really important that I find him. Well, what does he look like? Well, he's really good looking, and he's got the sweetest smile. Anyways, do you know where a guy like that would be hanging out on a summer day? Not in the bus station. No, definitely not the bus station. I'd try the baseball field. You know, there's a game today. I mean, that's where I would look if I was looking for a guy. Me too. Most of the guys in town would be there. Well, that's a great idea. Thank you so much. Yeah, just um, turn left out of the station and go about six blocks and you'll see the baseball field. All right, thanks again. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Let's go find Miguel. There he is with Reese. Reese, why did he have to tag along? Because he's got a crush on you, Kay. He's a nerd. I think he looks kind of cute in those clothes Miguel lent him. Oh, once a nerd, always a nerd. Be nice. Remember, he's one of Miguel's friends. Okay. Hi, guys. How's it going? No luck yet. Nobody's seen anyone that looks like Charity. That's a shame. Yeah, well... We're gonna head over to the ball field, see if the game's still on. No! Uh, as long as we're here, we should give this search everything we've got. Kay's right. Buses come in every 15 or 20 minutes. She might be on one of those buses. And even if we don't find her, at least we'll know that we tried our hardest. Right. Thanks, guys, for helping out. You're right. I, I can't just give up. Come on, Reese. Let's go look around. At least now, Miguel and Charity will never meet. Thank God Jessica wasn't around. 
She would have messed everything up, that's for sure. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. No, it's my fault. I didn't mean to. <laughs> sorry. No. No. No, 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 no. Oh, this is hopeless. Uh, is there a problem, Mrs. Crane? Oh, I have nothing appropriate to wear for the benefit at the new community center. Oh, there must be something. You have so many beautiful things. Yes, I have lots of lovely things, but well, they're expecting a younger, you know, hipper crowd, and I don't want to look like the old maiden aunt. That would be impossible, Mrs. Crane. May I have a look? Oh, please do. Thank you. Sweater, and this tank top and this skirt would be very hip. With the right earrings, you would be the coolest looking 30 something year old at the party. <laughs> 30 something. Oh, I like you better and better, Teresa. <laughs> well, hmm, you're right. You do have a flair for fashion. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Crane. Well, that's one less thing to worry about. Now, if we could just find that girl who's stalking Ethan. Officer, yeah. you ever seen this girl? No, can't say that I have, sorry. Hey, slow down. I just want to get out of here and away from you. Yeah, well, the feeling's mutual. But unfortunately, I'm not out of your life yet. You'll see me in court. Or did you forget why you were here? Uh, refusing to pull over when I gave the order. Resisting arrest. Ramming my police yes, car. Yes, yes, I know the charges. Ethan, get me out of here. Gladly. Mrs. Crane is right. I am good at this. I am so glad I trusted my instincts and went for this job. It's everything I ever dreamed of and more. Now, all I have to do is stay away from Ethan. <sighs> Why didn't you go through the foyer? Was it because... I'm fine, Ethan. Sheridan, you're home. Oh, you are. It's so good to see you again. Oh, how are you feeling? I was so worried when I heard about your car accident in Paris. I'm fine now, thank you. Ethan tells me that Ivy hired your daughter to be her personal secretary. <laughs> yes. Well, I can't wait to meet her. From what I hear, Ivy really likes her. I kept missing her earlier, but I'm sure we'll see your daughter before the day is over. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, welcome home. <laughs> Strange. What? Well, your mother seems to really like Pilar's daughter, and we know what a lovely person Pilar is, so... How'd the son turn out to be such a pain? <laughs> Luis? Oh, forget about him. Let's just think about all the fun we're gonna have now that you're back home. <laughs> that sounds like a plan I can live with. Let's go see if Mother's in a room. Mother? It's me. Sheridan's here, too. May we come in? Mother? Cycle on the washing machine is all about, boss man. Huh? No, come here, come here. I'm going to catch you. No. 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 Sorry, I'm in such a rush. That's okay, I am too.
Charity wasn't on the last bus. The next one doesn't come till later today. Mm, I'm so sorry, Miguel. Thanks for helping anyway. You too, Simone. Well, what do we do now? We still have time to get to the ball game and play a few innings. Well, we haven't had lunch, though. Um, why don't you and Simone and I go back to my house and grab a bite and try to come up with a better plan? You want Reese to come, too, right? Sure. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hey, Jess. Jessica, you're supposed to be helping Mom at the shop, remember? I did. I'm done. So I thought I'd come by and help Miguel look for charity. Well, we already looked, and we can't find her, so butt out, brat face. Excuse me. I think you dropped this when we ran into each other. Oh, thanks. You don't look too happy. Did you miss meeting someone? You could say that. Yeah, me too. I was looking for this boy, only I just met him and I don't even know his last name. I don't believe my luck. You're... You couldn't be, could you? Is your name Charity? Yeah. How'd you know that? Oh, my God. You're looking for a boy named Miguel, right? Yeah. Do you know him? <laughs> you bet I know him, and I know exactly where he is. Come with me. <laughs> Excuse me. I think I found what you've been looking for. Charity. Miguel. Don't you love it? I guess they were meant to be. It's fate. And no one should mess with fate. I couldn't agree more. Tell me, where is Charity? I must know, where is Charity? Jimmy doesn't like the spin cycle. How'd you get out? Sure, willpower. <laughs> so what does the spirit boy say? Nothing. It hasn't moved since you knocked it off the table. Jimmy, sorry. Don't stand there dripping all over my floor. Jimmy needs a towel. Not fast enough. <laughs> no, not there, Telva. Oh yes, I think this will do it. Uh, ten minutes on high. Where was I? To all of you out there, what Tabitha just did was very, very naughty. Do not try this at home. I'm trying to locate this girl. You ever seen her? No. She sure is pretty. What has she done? She's a stalker. I'm new. So ask Luis. He knows most of the people here in town. Believe me, little sister. Money does not buy happiness. And that's why I'm going to keep you away from the cranes. Yes, I'll be there shortly. Uh-huh. Yeah, I have some ideas I think the committee will find very, very interesting. <laughs> yes, I'm sure the benefit will be much better this year. All right, good. I'll see you then. Bye-bye. Pilar, would you please tell Cook that I'm having lunch at the country club? Will Sheridan be joining you? Sheridan? She's home. Haven't you seen her? No, I, I haven't. Where is she? I just ran into her and Ethan upstairs. How is she? She looks very well. <laughs> Thank God. She seems to have completely recovered from her car accident in Paris. Yes. But that's not what I'm talking about, Pilar. 
No. You mean that night? Has she been in this room yet? I don't believe so. I was down here earlier and I didn't see them. They must have come up the back way. Hmm. So we don't really know how she is, if she's still talking about that night. That was many years ago, Mrs. Crane. Yes. And we've all tried to forget it. Put it out of our minds, but has Sheridan, that's my concern. I can't say, Mrs. Crane, but Sheridan has been through a lot since then. She's strong. She'll be all right. I've never told anyone. I never would. I know, Pilar. I trust you completely. We've all kept quiet about that night. Tried to put it behind us. That's as it should be. That's how it must remain, but... If anyone ever finds out about that night and Sheridan, it would be a disaster for all of us. Mother? Oh, hello. You must be Teresa. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Oh, no. It's Ethan. What if he recognizes me? He thinks I'm a crazy star girl. He'd send me to jail. I can't believe it's you. It's me. Isn't it terrific? We knew you'd find each other if you kept looking. I'm gonna kill my sister when I get her alone. Uh, let me introduce you to my friends. Uh, this is Kay and Simone and Reese. Oh, and this is Jessica. <laughs> she found you. <laughs> I guess you know that. Guys, this is Charity. Hi. 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 Oh, hey, I remember you. You were the one who sent me to the ballpark when I told you that I was looking for a boy I'd met. Oh, you're the girl Miguel was looking for? Wow, I, I feel so stupid. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It all worked out, right? Oh, I'm so glad. I would have felt just terrible if I hadn't gotten to see you one last time. One last time? I came to say goodbye, Miguel. It should be done by now. <gasps> that was mean, Tabitha. Very mean. If you'd been watching the spirit board instead of doing a Denny Terrio host of dance fever imitation, we'd know where Charity was by now. Instead, the... Damn board won't even move now. Too sorry. Save it. I'm going to find another appliance for you to check out. No! Yeah. Or would you rather do ten rounds with the cat? No, not Fluffy. Fluffy hates Jimmy. Oh, well, let me <laughs> see now. How about the blender? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it is. Ah, oh, Charity, we found you now. We're going to stop you dead in your tracks. It's either you or us. My mother said nothing but good things about you. I'm Ethan. Look at this. Do I look anything like myself? Even you didn't recognize me. Well, your disguise is good. But if Ethan does recognize you, he'll call the police. And what if Louise shows up? Teresa, think of the anger and shame he'll feel if he has to arrest his own sister. I'd like you to meet my aunt, Sheridan Crane. Oh, it's very nice to... Oh, my gosh! Yes, let me help you. Oh, my God. Luis, I just took a call. Your caller, Sheridan Crane, goes before the judge tomorrow, 9 o'clock sharp. Great, Pat. Thanks. Officer, you got a minute? Sure. What can I do for you? Frank Lomax. 
Private investigator. I'm trying to track down a girl. What's her name? I don't have her name. All I have is a sketch. You mind taking a look at it? Sure. The board's all over the place. And it's not telling us anything about charity. Maybe to me and Tabitha shouldn't push it. We're not giving up. That girl doesn't even know the powers she has. They aren't fully developed yet. That's why we have to finish her off before she gets any older. Or before she falls in love with some man and becomes a woman. That would make her powers even stronger. What happens if Tabitha and Jimmy don't? You become pillow stuffing. Huh? And I... Whew. I don't even want to think about it. Where can that girl be? Timmy! It's moving again! B... U... S... This... Bus! Bus station! Charity's at the bus station! You came to say goodbye? Why? Where are you going? My mom and I are moving away. Moving? Oh, how awful. Isn't it awful, Simone? The pits. This is terrible. You hardly had any time together. Is your bus leaving soon? Um, we don't want to make you miss it. I'm sure she can take a later bus. Yeah, Miguel's been dying to see you again. Can you, Charity, take a later bus? I'll give you a personal guided tour of Harmony. That's a good idea. Maybe if you see how great it is to live here, you can convince your mom to move here. No! I mean, Harmony's not for everyone. Yeah, that's what my mom said. She said this just wasn't the place for us. Well, she should know. I mean, she is your mom. I wonder when the next bus is leaving. Charity, don't you want to spend at least this one day with Miguel? You can take the later bus, can't you? Make the most of the day. Well, you don't want to make your mom worry. No. But I would love to see Harmony through Miguel's eyes. Then do it. Your mom will understand. Well, as long as I can catch the last bus home and be back before dark. Oh, great. Just think of all the memories Miguel and Charity will make today. Uh, maybe we could make some memories of our own, Kay. That's nice, Reese, but uh, Simone and I have something important to do. Right, real important. <laughs> I'll deal with you later. <laughs> I'm quaking in my boots. Don't think that you're going to keep me and Miguel from being together. You're never going to get him, Kay. Watch me. Come on, Simone. Jessica, are you sure your sister likes me? Of course. She's just playing hard to get. Come on, let's go with them. What? What's wrong? Well, you've got ink all over your lip. Here. Crane residence. Ethan, she's busy with work. Let's go. You go ahead. I'll catch up later. Well, that's okay. I'm gonna go change out of these clothes, then go for a walk. Get some fresh air since I've been locked up in that cell. See you later. There's something about Teresa. Yes, Mrs. Crane will definitely be there. Eight o'clock. Yes, I'll tell her. Thank you. Of course. Now I know what it is about your face. Ethan, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were... No, Pilar, stay. There's something I want to ask both of you. You thought you'd fool me, but I'd know you anywhere. We have to find Charity before she meets that boy again. Faster, Tabitha! Hey! 
that's the boat I work on. Uh, do you like being a fisherman? Well, it's only a summer job, but I love to be out at sea. When it's just me and the water and the sky for miles and miles. I love the sea, too. My mom and I once had this house on this island off the coast, and I learned to sail. I mean, it was a tiny little boat, but I loved it. I had a feeling you'd love the sea. I do. And blue's my favorite color. Mine, too. All shades of blue. The blue of the sky, the blue-green of the ocean. The silvery blue of a Porsche. <laughs> <laughs> I think Jennifer Lopez drives a Porsche. Oh, she's my favorite singer. Oh, mine, too. <laughs> You should see the harbor during Christmas. All the boats are decorated. The whole place sparkles with lights. I would love to be here at Christmas time. Isn't there any way you can change your mom's mind and stay? Actually, there is a way. Look at them. Yeah. I think it's love. Don't even think it, Simone. The guy who hired me is anxious to find the girl. And he'd be very grateful for your help. Who hired you? Ethan Crane. Forget it. No way am I going to help Ethan Crane. You're kidding. No. You're not even going to take a look at the picture? Nope. And your business is through here. Hey, look. I don't know what your problem is, but the Cranes can make your life very miserable. They own this town. Well, they don't know me. You can't arrest me. You've broken at least ten laws in the last ten minutes. Give me one good reason I shouldn't arrest you. Because my last name is Crane. Now get out. What was that all about? Another example of how the cranes use people and then throw them away. You mean the girl in the sketch you were showing around? Yeah. Some girl Ethan Crane's looking for. I feel sorry for her, whoever she is. Thank God Teresa gave up her obsession with the cranes. to get over this fear. I can do this. I... No, not yet. When I get back from my walk... I'll... Sheridan. Ivy. Hello. Pilar told me you were here. Welcome home. Thank you. Mm. Yeah. It's been a long time. Yes. You look well. I'm a little tired. Mm. Well, jail cell isn't exactly conducive to a good night's sleep. <laughs> Ethan told me you had a run-in with one of the local police officers. Oh, I'd rather not talk about that, Ivy. I just want to get to the cottage, change my clothes, and take a walk. Ah, so you'll be staying in the cottage? Yes. As you know, I prefer that. Have you, um, have you been in the living room? No. Yet? Well, perhaps you should, just to make sure. It's in the past, Ivy. I I'm over it. I hope so. For all our sakes. But if you're not for the good of the family, please don't cause a scene. I am over it. I am. I can do this. I'm all right. I just... over this fear. Ethan, I can explain. It's your mother. What? I thought you looked familiar, but I couldn't place your face. But now I see the family resemblance. You look just like your mother. <gasps> yes, I guess I do. 
People tell us that all the time. <laughs> My mother mentioned that you were interested in fashion? Uh, yes. It's something I've loved ever since I was a little girl. I used to drag out all of Mama's scarves and shawls and, and design evening gowns. Remember, Mama? Yes, I remember. I want to design good clothes that, that don't look cheap but don't cost a fortune. Clothes that the regular girls in town can afford. Well, that's an admirable goal, Teresa. I hope all your dreams come true. Thank you. Me too. Oh, there's something I've been wanting to ask you. There's a girl in town who's been following me. Stalking me, actually. She's been dumping things on my head. Yes, your mother told me. I said maybe they were accidents. Accidents? No, not when it happens five times. I even found her here, lurking around the grounds. Madre de Dios. Anyway, I thought you might know her. How would I know her? Well, you're a local girl, and she's a local girl, too, I think. She's got dark hair, pretty eyes. I see she's about your height. Maybe you've seen her, too, Pilar. Hmm. Oh, I guess she's a little taller than you. There are a lot of girls in, in Harmony, Mr. Crane. I I'm sure I wouldn't know anyone who would be a stalker. <laughs> Sheridan had this crazy idea that the girl had a crush on me. I'd never believe that in a million years. I mean, this girl needs help. I think I know how to find this girl. What are you up to now, Teresa? Don't push this too far, or it will blow up in your face. <laughs> <laughs>